Hello everyone, this is Mr. O, who is going to be teaching you about graphs. We will first need a pencil and an eraser, of course, and four pieces of paper, but not the line papers, just empty papers. You could use line papers, but it's going to confuse you a lot, so I don't recommend using line papers, okay? And lastly, the most important tool a ruler. You will need at least 15 centimeter long ruler. So I have 20 centimeter long ruler here. You're gonna be doing actual math now, so we need to be professional. So if you don't have the ruler at the moment, pause the video for a second, then go get your ruler. Now let's start with our first question. Question 1. Graph the following function. Hmm, what does it even mean? But let's pause the video for a moment and first write down the question and also make this chart. You need three columns, as you can see, then 10 rows, including this first line. Then let's give numbers to x, this x. We're going to go from minus four to four. Then we can continue after you have made this chart. Now, let's do some math here. In the second line, we have x equals minus 4. And now we're trying to find y value, okay? So, we're going to use this equation to find y values. So, I'll write down here, y equals x is minus 4 at the moment. So, minus 4 plus... 1 and minus 4 plus 1 equals minus 3 so that means our y value for the second line is going to be minus 3 so we write down minus 3 here okay in the third line now we have x equals minus 3 so we're gonna use the same equation but now our x value is minus 3. So minus 3 plus 1 equals minus 2. Equals minus 2. So I would write down minus 2 in here as well. And we can continue like this all the way to the bottom, okay? See if you got everything right. Now we're gonna make a graph. So we're gonna use our ruler. I'm gonna bring down this ruler here. And you want to draw a horizontal line. Just a second. So a horizontal line like this. I know you can't see it, just a second. Like this, draw a horizontal line. And also draw a vertical line. So I'm gonna rotate my ruler here, like this. And then draw a vertical line, like this. So they have to be perpendicular to each other, okay? One has to go up and down, one has to go left and right. And then now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put tick marks. So you see how I centered 10 here? I have 10 at the center. It doesn't really matter, you can just choose your own number. Um, 
And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna put tick marks on every one centimeter, okay? So like this, like this, like this. So far, so good. Now take a look. I'm going to put an arrow here on the right. Draw an arrow. And I'm going to call this horizontal line x-axis. So I'll write down x here. And I'm going to put another arrow on top. And this vertical line is going to be called y-axis. Okay. So I'm writing down Y in here. We will also assign numbers to the tick marks. So from the center, we're starting with zero and each tick mark will have one, two, three, four, five. You have to write small, as small as possible, okay? On the left side, we're going backward because of this arrow, okay? This arrow means forward, so left is backward. So minus one, minus two, minus three. We're going to do the same for the vertical line. Starting from zero again, Going up, and going down. Okay. Finally, the most important task. We're going to draw dots on a graph by using these X and Y values. X and Y values from each line correspond to the location of a dot. So, for example, first dot, according to these numbers, is going to be at a position where X equals to minus 4 and Y equals to minus 3. Where is that in the graph? So, the horizontal line here is the x values and the vertical line here is the y values. So x equals to minus 4 and y equals minus 3 should be right here. So there I put a dot. So this dot is at x equals minus 4 and y equals minus 3. Did you notice anything? This means x value tells how much left or right the dot went, and the y value tells how much up or down the dot went. Okay? So the, this first dot is like it moved four points to the left and then went four point, uh, three points down. Does that make sense? Now let's try to find out where the second dot is. So our second dot should be at x equals minus 3 and y equals minus 2. So x equals minus 3 horizontally and y equals minus 2 vertically. So minus 3 and minus 2. Where they meet is somewhere here, I guess, right? Dot, 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 dot. So here, that's where our second dot is. Let's continue for the third one. 
I'll use dark green. So x equals minus 2 and y equals minus 1. Where is that? x, which is the horizontal line. Oh, where is this minus sign? x equals minus 2, where y equals minus 1. Oh, here's another minus sign missing. So the third, our third dot should be somewhere in here. So now the fourth one is a little bit tricky. We have zero here. X equals minus one, but Y equals zero. Hmm. X minus one here, but Y is at zero. But where should they meet? Y equals zero. So we have to make uh, be clear. X, as I said, tells how much left or right the dot went, right? And the Y value tells how much up or down the dot went, right? So this means this dot, this our fourth dot, went one to the left. That's why it's minus one. But then it didn't go either up nor down. So our dot is simply is going simply going to be in here. It's going to be lying on the x-axis. Okay? So then can you guess where this dot should be? So it says x is at zero, but y should be at one. So zero and one. Where should the dot be? So x, as I said, tells how much left or right it went. So it's zero, so that means it didn't go anywhere. So it should be at the center. But y value tells how much up or down it went. It says one, so it went one up. So it didn't go, uh, it neither went left nor right. So it's at center, but it still went one up. So it should be at here. That's where x equals zero and y equals one. So that was the hardest one. And from now on, these are going to be pretty straightforward. You can try it on your own. You can pause the video for a second and try to do it on your own and compare with my graph. At last, this is going to be the easy and fun part. You would simply draw a straight line that will connect all these dots. Try it. If you have used your ruler, put a tick mark on every exact centimeter, then accurately position all the dots, you'll have a nice straight line that passes through all the dots that you drew. This is it. The straight line that connects all the dots corresponds to the function y equals x plus 1. That's because these dots are from this equation, you remember? So we now have a graph that shows the function y equals x plus 1. Congratulations. We're going to continue with another example, another question.